welcome everyone on our today's podcast of World Kidney Cancer Day. Today to educate us more on this topic, we have Dr. Nitesh Rothagi with us. Welcome Dr. Nitesh Rothagi. Dr. Nitesh Rothagi is a senior director medical oncologist in Fortis at Gurgaon and Delhi. Doctor, so the first question that we have for you is what is kidney cancer and how do patients present kidney cancer? Okay, so I think it's important to note kidney cancer is not the most common cancer in the world or India, mm-hmm. but it's not the least common either. Yeah. And we have two kidneys on either sides above the umbilicus near the back, okay. and these make urine and help that production. So if cancer, which is uninhibited, mm-hmm. unstoppable, abnormal growth of some cells, mm-hmm. which can grow and then spread, it develops what we call kidney cancer. Yeah. Now, because we said kidney makes urine, mm-hmm. so one of the most common symptoms of kidney cancer is blood in urine. It is yes. mostly painless. Now, when you do get blood in urine, do go to your doctor and say, could it be kidney cancer? Yes. Going very well, more often than not, mm-hmm. it will be a stone. But yes. you need to still rule out kidney cancer. Yes. Of course, we said it's found in kidneys and kidneys and the back. So of course, as the size grows, it can hurt the back. So constant pain in the front and back, mm. especially if you feel a mass on one side or the other, kidney can cancer. be kidney cancer. Yes. Sometimes, not very uncommonly again, it can spread. So if it spreads most common to the lung, liver and bone, mm. you can actually present with symptoms of the spread. Okay. So a bone pain or cough that doesn't resolve and it comes on a scan or something with the liver. Yes. Common presentation is blood and urine or a mass which causes pain or feeling mm-hmm. and an uncommon unfortunate presentation is of spread. I get it. So these are basically the symptoms that you've been talking about for... Correct. I often say if there's a symptom that's new, escalating and not resolving with simple measures, mm-hmm. kidney cancer or otherwise, yes. you go to your doctor and say, could this be cancer? Yeah. 8 out of 10 times, it will not be. But for use 2 out of 10 times, correct, you because, be smart yeah, about correct. It. because when it, it comes about kidney, most of us, you know, Indians, we think that it's a kidney stone either and it's just not a cancer. And it often will be, but the kidney stone will often present with a pain. Correct. And then sometimes blood, and then it will go away, and it will then come back few months later. Mm-hmm. A kidney cancer will present with generalized fatigue, weight mm-hmm. loss, and then blood painless and it will not stop. Correct, I understand totally. So doctor, the next question we have is how is kidney cancer diagnosed? Okay, so the diagnosis of kidney cancer is very algorithmic. Yeah. So of course, as we said that it is a cancer of organ making urine. So we often test urine not once but two, three times. So looking for cancer cells in the urine called cytology of the urine. Okay. A simple but very effective and a good tool is a simple ultrasound and a good hands. Mm-hmm. Uh, ultrasonologists can just do ultrasound both sides. If mm-hmm. one side looks normal kidney uh, being shaped and the other side has a mass, you yeah. can see that this is a mass growing there. Correct. Now, the, the more advanced testing is a CT scan, uh, MRI mm-hmm. and while they are not essential for diagnosis, mm-hmm. they do help us for A knowing how far it is spread yeah. locally or rest of the body, mm-hmm. how much is it infiltrating around the tissue mm-hmm. and are we almost affirmative this is not a benign lump. With that information, is it localized or spread? Mm-hmm. Is it operable or not? Okay. Does it look like kidney cancer? You typically go to a surgeon and mm-hmm. plan the treatment. Absolutely. So doctor, what are the uh, present day treatments available for kidney cancer? Kidney cancer, interestingly, has grown in terms of its management more rapidly in the last two decades Mm -hmm. than many other cancers. Yeah. Um, I remember when I was just starting my oncology Mm -hmm. not 20 years ago, (laughs) Mm. uh, we did not used to treat kidney cancer. Okay. Other than the patients who were operable. So hmm. we used to see a patient, kidney cancer, operable, operate, non-operable, we didn't have a treatment. Okay. In that 20 was, years. It's 20 years ago, right? Yes. Okay. In 20 years, we've hmm. gone from not having a treatment to now having to decide hmm. with lots of difficulties sometimes 
Which of the five, six, seven treatments are you to issues? I get it. You're going from nothing to a decision making tree. Correct. And you're going to go only forward. Absolutely. In today's date, hmm. when we get early stage kidney cancer, we take it out. Surgery. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. done robotically many very often. Mm -hmm. And we also gone from a stage of taking the whole kidney out mm -hmm. to taking only the lump out called partial nephrectomy. Okay. Very interesting. And really saves half the kidney sometimes, so the patients really don't go into any very close to kidney dysfunction. Correct. In more advanced stage mm -hmm. or somewhere in between, where it's early stage, mm -hmm. it's been taken out, but the risk of coming back is high. Mm -hmm. Recently, mm -hmm. we have started giving immunotherapy or immune modulation to mm -hmm. these patients. You okay. operate. Mm -hmm. You give a drug intravenously mm -hmm. every two to three weeks. Mm -hmm. You give it for a year and you change the body's immune system so that it starts recognizing mm -hmm. that this is kidney cancer, this is bad for the body. Yes. And whenever it tries to grow back, mm -hmm. it attacks it. And we have seen increased chances of curability mm -hmm. and cancer not coming back in even kidney cancers that are more than just small. So, yeah. Locally advanced, as we call it. Correct, correct. Or high risk, as we call it. Hmm. But the biggest change has happened in metastatic or stage 4 kidney cancer. These are cancer that has already spread to the bones or the liver or the lung or the lymph node outside the area. Mm -hmm. And by definition, you can imagine these patients used to die of kidney cancer. Yeah. And we didn't have a treatment to offer. And that was extremely tragic. Correct. We started off with simple medications, mm -hmm. isolatinib. Pazopinib. Pazopinib is a very good drug. We've been using for a decade or more. Mm -hmm. Very few side effects. Mm. Um, often one side effects is people become fairer, not a bad thing. <laughs> not a bad thing. <laughs> mm. But uh, easy to tolerate, easy to manage mm. and decrease the probability of the cancer flaring up mm. for months and years together. Absolutely. But then the era changed. Okay. And then came in immunotherapy. Just like in a locally advanced hmm. or stage 4 cancer. Yeah. And now there are a couple of immunotherapies. All of them hmm. break the barricade between the immune system hmm. and the cancer cell. Okay. The the CRP of Jawan as I call and the R and the and the bad guys hmm. Hmm. and allow them to recognize and attack it hmm. continuously when the cancer from comes back. Hmm. But then the era change again, which is the present era, that's very interesting because we combine we combine drugs like cabozantinib hmm. with drugs like nivolumumab hmm. and we really saw some very big change in outcomes, both quality of life and quantity of life, Correct. combining a immunotherapy with the tags. There are others, pembrolizumab and matinib, hmm. but the ability to tolerate with great effectiveness with drugs like cabozantinib and nivolumumab Correct. was a very interesting big change. I get it. Okay, so doctor, looking into the future, do you think there is any significant process that is going to slightly happen into this mm -hmm. field? I think what you're alluding to or asking is really uh, where the future of cancers and kidney cancers are. Absolutely. Like. Yes, yes. Um, I don't know if, if you know about this something called Moonshot Cancer Program. I have heard about <laughs> it. <laughs> so uh, essentially, the, the American government mm -hmm. at one point launched this Moonshot Program where they said, Think completely out of the box, Correct. but solve cancer. Hmm. They allowed the researchers to experiment to any level mm -hmm. and find solutions. Mm -hmm. A lot of kidney cancer treatments and strategies came out of that. Yeah. Now there is an undercurrent of discussion about ground shot program, which is hmm. how do you bring the moon shot therapy Correct. at a ground shot cost. Hmm. So that's really getting applicable. Mm -hmm. So the big changes I will see in the future is A, I do see early stage lung cancer, early stage kidney cancer being most curable because if we can manage an advanced stage kidney cancer the way we do, mm -hmm. the early stage should be even better. I do see that we can triage or decide who to treat, who not to treat. We are seeing a lot of role of liquid biopsies, taking a blood test mm -hmm. and seeing if the cancer after surgery still lurking around in your blood or not. If it okay. is, intensify therapy. If it is not, why do you want to give toxicity and cost? Correct. So Correct. I see our ability to decide who should and who, and should. who should not. Correct. 
But very interestingly, I see some long-term controllability, very long-term. I'm talking years and decades, mm -hmm. even in stage four kidney cancer. Mm. And I think that will not only come by the new drugs industry, not only immunotherapy and capacitin, but also some very interesting vaccine programs, mm -hmm. finding very key molecules in the cancer okay. and trying to target them exclusively. Mm. That that first trial program on pancreatic cancer, which is as difficult or more difficult cancer to treat sometimes, mm. has been successful. But you can see how a plethora of that will change. We are getting better at targeting the cancer cell to throw the drug only into the cancer. Yeah. You know, the chemotherapy is not something used in kidney cancer, but antibody drug conjugates is a new concept. Hmm. I don't know where it's going to lead us. Absolutely. So I do feel that a lot has changed in the last two, three years with monitoring hmm. and with really targeted molecular testing and treatment. That will see a new wave of therapy options, a new wave of survivorship and certainly a new way of quality of life of okay. cancer patients. For kidney cancers, yeah. For kidney cancers and all cancers alike, yeah. okay. but also for kidney cancers. Okay. Okay, doctor, thank you so much. And these were the only questions we had in um, our mind to ask you. And our viewers definitely, I would think, will benefit from these answers. Thank you, and thank thank you. you so much, doctor.